Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Blade Farms. Woohoo, your host with not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. <sighs> I was hoping the sheep would make more wool, folks. I really was. Oh, whoa, got my speed boots on again, don't I? Got one pallet of wool. What, 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 what's that? What's going on here? Wait, what? It's, it's Metalwood Farms. They're moving, folks. I wonder where they're going. Oh, wait. I do know where they're going. I do know where they're going. And hi ho, there yo. I know where they're going, folks. Yes. I got the phone call. I got the phone call. I'll, I'll probably going to throw that in right around here. All right. Now, if there's nothing there, don't worry about it. I just didn't have time to uh, upload it. But, yeah. Do call me and, uh, well, hopefully y'all see it in that clip. But I, I got to go over here and catch him before he gets too far. Because I know where he's going. Now I need a lift to where he's going. Uh, who all we got? Oh, crap. Let me do this real quick. There we go. Oh, my goodness. There's so many of them. Look at the lights on them, too, folks. I can't get zoomed in. There we go. They got all their beacons and stuff on. We're going up here to field nine and back to the right. Cut some woods. Cut some trees. <sighs> Let's see. Who was... In this one. Yeah, I hate when I do that. Eh, eh, eh. Come back here. Ah. Dark light gaming. Dark light gaming. All right. Sorry, brother. I gotta fire you for a second. Because uh, I had uh, I put it from market to uh, North Farm. Folks, check out our sunflowers over. There. They are. They're. You know. I say they're ready. Hope I make this wide turn here. Oh, he plowed the field. I plowed. Well, I plowed the field actually. And, and uh, I don't know if we're gonna have any fir trees, but we, we bringing this guy too because dude said we can use all his equipment. So why not, right? Well, actually, some of it's our equipment too. Um, all the trucks is his, but the wood chipper that's behind us there, that's ours. And the log trailer that's at the very back is ours. And, um, well, yeah. So we're going back here. Oh, like I said, you know, he, he wanted me to talk to him because he heard about my plans about this field here. And we're going to try to even out all these woods down through here so we can get a little bit better plowing job done uh, I, I think it's still in the bag that nobody knows about me wanting to buy a field 8 um, just gotta get the money right now um, I've been thinking a lot about it and I think we need to buy a field 8 before we buy any other field field 8 and field 15 it's my goal that I want to go for and hopefully our soybean Oh, all up in the tree. Uh, our soybean crop will get us going a little bit better. See, I really don't know where to start. I think we'll probably start here. I'm not for sure. But uh, all wood chip sales will be sold as is, folks. Yeah. So uh, that's what he said. He said, they're technically my trees, but since he's let me use the equipment, he told me to take the fir trees, use them for the beehives, and take any other tree and make wood chips out of them. So, first off, I need to figure out how to, let's see, A, to unlock load, and then, um, how you unfold this baby? 
How do you uh, include this baby? Let's see here. What? Z? Engage narrow deck. Let's, let's just try that. Oh my god. You mean to tell me I could have spread that thing out and got on there a whole lot easier? Wow. Whoa. Right there. V. Raise the lower ramps. Yay. Oh yeah. Alright. Let me hop out. We're going to, uh, well, first, we're going to stop this truck back here. Because all these are on follow me. we just go back here to the very back. Um, I like to see, uh, I see Batman Girl Amy in there. I see Boo. I see Minimal Michelle. Oh, I love these Kenworth folks. I wish Freightliner would have some that's, well, they do in real life, but. The farming simulator just see do that. Yeah, I cancel that out. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the engine off right now. And that that thing is nice, folks. If it does what it does on here on the other ones, R D Allen was using it. Let's see, I got control F first, and we're just gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy up here. We'll unload all the trailers up here. See, I really need to turn around. I don't. Oh, oh, oh! I'm a little bouncy. A little bouncy there. Oh, 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 oh! oh. Slow down, Mr. Blue. We're in not that that big a hurry. I've sped up time a little bit. I did get all the power food. Uh, TMR mixed that was the straw that was on the ground. Whoa, brakes! That sucker's heavy back here. Whew. All right, I know how to use this one, so we're gonna drop this trailer right here. Okay, I think I posted to unlock at first. I don't know. I don't think it had a locking strip on it. All right, we're gonna. Just Stop him right there. Leave it right there. I see. I think uh, this one's next. But check it. Check it out. Go to their website, folks. It's uh, woodmetalfarm.com, I believe. And uh, just just check them out. They got some awesome mods over. Now they do not know that I got these mods, uh, but their website's open to the public. He does have more awesome mods than this, but you have to be a Patreon a, a member. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm technically not a member. Uh, I would if I had the money. They make some awesome mods, folks. Or they, or whatever, you know. But I love these little trailers at the back. I don't know the trailers as his, but I do know the trucks are. Okay, let's see. What was that? Z? And then I'm gonna try V. Maybe it won't bite me. Oh, there we go. Auto save there. Okay, I'm going to uh, go ahead and shut this one off for right now. Let's go ahead and shut the Bob truck here off. I call it a Bob truck, but we'll shut that all off. Uh, we got to get these two back here unloaded. So, uh, yeah. All right, sorry about the interruption, folks. My bladder could not hold it no more. Anyway, I hope I unlocked the load. This is a new log fork here. Um, Uh-oh. Let me see if the load's locked. Like I said, I'm totally unlocked load. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit better. Hopefully. Now I do have to get one more semi down here. Okay, like I said, I don't know where we're going to start first. 
I do see some fir trees there. At least one. Alright, we're going to put this baby right here. Whoa! Good way to treat his equipment, Mr. Blue. Uh, note to editor. Make sure you scratch that out. Don't want him to see it. Um, <laughs> uh, ah. But that's the name of the trailer right there. Trail Tech. I like them. Especially now since you, I know I can uh, widen them out. Ah, right, this is a shampoo, Ron's, Ron's Nelly, whatever it's called. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since it's, oh, there we go. Raise that bad boy. It don't really raise up. It stays the same level. Only thing it does, it, it extends out, folks. Watch. See how it keeps the same level? We can reach way out there and it still be pretty much the same so yeah oh wow that was rough note to editor at that out too because I don't want him seeing none of his equipment being mistreated all right yeah but I don't know how we're going to do the uh, those trees the, the ones I hate um, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to, I think what we're going to do, um, we got one more piece to unload, don't we? This bad boy back here eliminates everything. It'll take the whole tree and all down, from what I understand. Um, the cutter... Um, Okay, there's that part. And I see any functions over here. Nope. Let's take a look inside. I don't know if too many of y'all seen this. It's pretty neat. No stern wheel. It's just got the joysticks. Just like being inside the Ponzi in a way. So I, I kind of like that. So uh, listen to this, folks. Those track sounds, it's like a bulldozer. Technically, it's like a bulldozer. This, yeah. But what we are missing here is a tipper to put the wood chips in. But let's just uh, turn this bad boy on and see what it does to a single tree, shall we? We shall. Stump grinder it on. You can even create fields with this thing. Oh, I'm kind of scared. I'm afraid. Let's lower it and see what we do. It's already trying to grind up wood. Look at there. Okay, I guess we have to actually cut the tree down. I, I, I could have swore I saw them go in. Okay, and that does that. That's up and down. What's... Oh, it raises another little piece there. Okay, I guess we have to cut it down first, so, okay. Well, in that case, if we just cut stumps, uh, we're going to get the big parts. Let's see, let's shut this off. And turn the motor off. Well, like I said, we're going to cut the big part here. Hopefully, we can cut. Uh, let's see here. I need to make it fall that way, don't I? But, uh, yeah, I don't know how long this episode's going to be, folks. Oh, I don't like it being off like that. We may or may not be able to cut them. 
I've never tested it yet, so you're learning with me. So if you ever cut trees on Blake Farms, yeah, you just like that. Um, we're probably going to just cut these. Uh, eh. oh, there we go. Whoa. Yeah, this is going to be kind of a long episode, huh? Yeah. We'll just do like that right there to all of them. And get us uh, some room. This, this is just going to be our side project, folks, from farming. You know, like if we have a couple episodes of harvesting, we can just break it up by doing some trees. Um... No one thing is sure. Uh, it's going to be rougher than what I thought it's going to be. Something's. There we go. It just feels like something holding me back. I don't know. I'm too close to the tree or what. But we're going to find some easy ways of doing this if we have to just cut the thing in half. Come on. There we go. But I'm not going to roughen your eyes too much on this. Uh, but like I said, we're just going to test out a couple of pieces of equipment here. I wish we got a chance to sell our wood chips before this happened because that's supply and demand's going to make it rough on our wood chips. Let's see. Um, let's go get this thing. Oh, 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 yeah. There we go. This is supposed to have tension uh, straps on it to hold your stuff a little bit better. So we're, we're going to try that out. Let's, see, let's turn our beacons on so we be, you know, safe here. I probably should have moved the stump grinder back a little bit more. We'll just go around like this. Now we can use this wood too for the bees. But you know, you can't sell logs on here. So I'm just going to close that just a little. And then, voila. There we go. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. That's, I, I like that. You know, we can just set that over on that stump grinder. Or not stump grinder, but the wood chipper. And just let it eat away at it. So, what I'm going to do. Uh, turn the beacons off. I'm going to leave like, like that. We got to get a tipper down here and, oh, duh, Mr. Blue, really, duh, sorry, folks, guess I'm still asleep, it's 8.08 a.m., by the way, uh, it should be Tuesday, September 11th, so, um, you know, in regards to all those fallen firefighters, police officers, EMTs, so on, so on, that had a rough time on 9-11. Hearts go out to all y'all. Never forgot y'all yet. I'm not going to. Huh, I probably should have moved these trailers like out of the way, but I think I'm going to go around on the other side. And, uh, No, I don't want to drop off the container. Unless, right, I gotta get out inside it. Different module. So we'll do that real quick. I probably should drop this on the ground. Might be a little bit more better. But I sure don't want to scratch this truck up. So well, let's do that. Uh. 
to A. Yeah, A to unfold. This one thing I'm concerned about is if our pipe's being tall enough. We may have to go sell our wood chips first. And then come down here and sell, you know, put this storage container up down here. I don't know, I, that pipe may... Uh, so, you no, know, I don't want to load container. I want to detach. There we go. And before I go too far, let's just check this out real quick. Let's hop in here. Yeah, see, unfold. Pipe out. Uh, oh, don't hit the truck. Don't hit the truck. Oh, I'm too close to the truck. I'm too close to the truck. I just inside of this truck. I hope not. Why is that? Note to editor. I think it will be perfect just like that right there. Yeah, that'll work. That should work. All right, shut that off. We're going to test this out. This, this is a test today. Um, not too much to do on the farm. So let's fold this hook back in. As long as I don't hit a tree. And what I want to do is, uh, till we get further on, we'll cut most of these down here and see what's this park is right here. I want to kind of keep people from hooking into our trailers. Um, I got to turn this bad boy on over here. Forgot to do that. Um, okay, engines up. There we go. It's a quiet engine. And let's go ahead and... Is that that? Turn our lights on. Yeah, there we go. So nobody know, uh, so nobody run into it. No, I probably shouldn't have went under the tree. All right, can I get through here? And you're supposed to be able to drive over this, so I'm going to back across. See what kind of movement we got on this thing. If it's on the ground, good one. Yeah, 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 okay. So, can't do that. I guess because it was in that concrete we could drive over it, but unrealistically, whoa, tailspin. Well, at least the logs on there are good. That's that's awesome. But realistically, we wouldn't be able to drive across it with it on. So well, I'm just scooting all over the place, ain't I? All right. Let's see here. Oh, my forks done went through. That's not good. Okay, unstrap. And there it goes in the truck. Awesome sauce. Let's kind of watch this for a second, folks. All right. Well, we don't even have to use the fork, so we got to do is pull up to it and strap and voila. So it might be a pretty uh, awesome thing here. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I really don't know. Um, now, like I said, we, we just want to use the big part. 
I'm not really concerned about all that extra work right there. So, let's turn this baby on. Let's see, beacons. Got some lights. Let's lower it down. And let's see what it does to the tree first. See, let me get rid of that gray box here. Uh, honey milk, Peterbilt, okay. I hear something disappearing. I got a good angle here, but. Oh, it's definitely pushing it. Let's raise up here. See if we can drop over it a little bit and let down. And it's just going to push it. Let's go in cap so we can see a little bit better. A lot of steam and smoke. I really don't know how this works, folks. Uh, I, I'm thinking when you see the steam, it, it's uh, chomping it. I probably should have got a little bit more limbs off of it. It's definitely doing something to it. I just don't know really what it is doing. It's, de it's definitely chopping up there. I'll tell you what, if this don't do a good job, I know what will. Then we might just uh, tell him that we uh, see if he can get it for us. That's the big daddy wood chipper. All it has to do is touch a tree. Apparently that ain't, it's grinding it up in little chunks, so I don't know. Let's go ahead and see what we can do to this stump here that's the main thing well, at least we got bird eye view well not bird eye view but I guess a beaver view I don't know alright it, it took part of it Uh, it definitely worked better on Long Oak Farms uh, with R.D. Allen. They was just going across them kind of slow, a little bit faster than this. and So, they was cutting fir trees. Maybe if I let it sit. Okay. Uh, this is way too slow for me. Okay, it did get that. Okay, it, it, it got that. 
so it is working on it just I don't know what it's doing to that over there um, I may have get a few of those bigger pieces out of the way so uh, yeah alright I want to shut that off but folks I'm going to conclude it right there so I should be about around 30 minutes or so let's see 12 the first time 21 is this time so 3 about 33 minutes worth of video. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, this is why I'm not getting in a big hurry about planting or anything. Uh, consider a plant. Let's check our crops out real quick. We got. If I fast forward. Eh, I mean. Yeah, it's basically what? 2 o'clock in the evening. So, time I get to the next day. We should have three days left uh, before harvest, so I'm probably, uh, eh. uh, I hate doing a lot of stuff off screen because one, y'all miss some good stuff, and two, I can't make a video until I do something off screen, you know, a little bit more detailed, so um, next time around, let's see, let me go ahead and shut this off because, uh, And see how much wood chips we got off of that. 12,317. Not bad. What I am going to do is start a course play route. Hopefully from here. And just have him go to the sale point. Drop it off and then come back. And hopefully, like, load from silo, course play. But maybe that works. I don't really know for sure if it will or not. Um, we're up to 14,000 fuel in the truck there. Um, I did buy, make enough to buy one more beehive box here. And it's at 49. Um, all these are, should be at 49. Now I do have some bad ones in here. And when I mean bad, it's just like uh, some of them ain't quite 100%. I don't know where I did with that one. I think I laid it over here on the trailer. Yep, yep, I did. See, this in here is 26%. So we, we can't use that. I'm going to go ahead and strap that. Uh, I'll probably put them on here and then we'll sell the bad ones. Uh, let me slide right. Oh, 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 I forgot to show y'all our trees. Remember me planting these? It looks like they have gotten a little bit taller. And then again, it could be just me. But anyway, we're keeping an eye on the trees too. Um, I decided. To go ahead and keep these greenhouses for right now um let me find one that's empty yeah see this one's empty of manure well reason why it's empty you know that little green trailer we was feeding the chickens with well i brought it down here to use to fill with manure and uh it never would empty out i thought that was on the last episode y'all might have seen that um, oh, there we go. This one's still got some straw left in it, but that needs some straw. But this one's completely out of straw. But uh, I did buy this trailer. Now, I don't know this trailer dumps. So let's try that. It holds 15000 I think I paid 6000 for it. It, it's it's sad because uh I'm gonna show you real quick. Yeah, six thousand seven hundred and fifty three for that, and uh, you manually tip it and raise the the tailgate on it. I guess you can say this is one we got or had, and it was eight thousand five hundred. We sold it for seven thousand and made enough to actually get the oven. So. Good, good deal there. 
but uh, next episode we might finish putting manure in these I'm not for sure uh, this is what I'm wondering see I'm not getting a tipping sign <gasps> I did there all right good good see okay well that in there is full I just need to dump uh, tip the rest of these and uh, you know right now I don't have money to buy the other greenhouses if I sell these to replace them but I do want to get those just uh, get like maybe two more tomato ones because those there makes plenty these here you have to really watch them you gotta do like maybe an hour or two I don't know really how long it does take for them I need to time them but uh, go to Nick the Hick channel and he's got these uh, and he really does good mod reviews on stuff and I need to move that wood stump grinder out of the way Come on, fill it. Yay. But folks, I guess that's going to be it on this episode. Uh, when we come back, we'll be... Uh, oh, I didn't get the trigger point there. He said something about if you're not careful, you'll fill the wrong one. So Definitely ain't getting a trigger right there. See, it's not. I got a trigger, but it's not letting me dump. Anyway, um, like it said, uh, those are doing pretty good. Um,. Here's our loads over here. This is what we're going to be selling. Plus more, hopefully. Uh, the cucumbers, tomatoes, strawberries, honey. Uh, yeah, I've just been bringing it over here. And, uh, yeah, we need a, a shelter for it. So I guess I could put it in a shed up there. But I'm wanting a... Uh, one that turns them invisible, if that makes any sense. I gotta redo this. This big hump here to go across. And let's I get a more powerful track. Oh, started to. Uh, there we go. Alright, it's gonna take a while. But yeah, it's gonna. Uh, it's a work in progress, folks. It's a money maker. It's just time consuming. Uh, when we we'll come back, we'll probably uh, fill these up with water. Finish filling them up with manure. Um, and uh, I guess some more tree work, maybe. Try to find some furs to do. But anyway, folks, this conclude this episode. So I hope y'all really enjoy it, like I said. And uh, y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Later. <laughs>